Introduction to Scientific Creativity Chapter 1 of the book Let's Unfold the Wings of Creativity Development of Scientific Creativity Written by Dr. Nalini Guzrathi Translated by Suchitra Chitrao Edited by Sulabha Sidhaye and read out for you by Dr. Deepti Sidhaye. Let's hear it. Chapter 1 Introduction to Scientific Creativity Kalpana, Srujan, Naveen and Prerana are class 9 students attending the same school. They have enrolled themselves in a national level competition of presenting science projects. They are trying their best to make the project innovative. For this, they have approached Pratibhatai. She is a science teacher and holds a PhD for research in the field of development of scientific creativity. She has agreed to teach them the techniques of coming up with innovative and original ideas. This is the workshop she is conducting for them. Pratibhatai Hi Kalpana, Naveen, Prerana and Srujan. Welcome to the training program. We are going to learn the skills to enhance our creativity in the field of science and technology. We will seek answers for lots of questions, hold discussions, activities and experiments. Let's get introduced with the term creativity. Can you tell us the meaning of creativity? Tell us your interpretation of the word. Kalpana. Creativity is coming up with new ideas. Surujan. Not only getting new ideas, but also applying them to make something innovative. Pratibhatai. Yes, both of you are right. Getting new ideas is necessary of course, but not enough. Nothing can be created unless we make an effort to implement the ideas and work persistently for it. Right? What actually is an idea? It's a new thought crossing our mind. The thought gets converted into action. If we don't get any worthwhile thought at all, how can any action take place? Normally, the terms idea, imagination and creative thinking mean more or less the same thing. I'm sure all of you have read the biographies of some gifted and talented people working across different fields. Could you name a few? Surujan. I know some scientists, Archimedes, Newton and Edison. Kalpana. I know a bit about Marie Curie, Alexander Graham Bell and Einstein too. Prerna. Aren't poets, authors, playwrights, painters and artists creative too? Naveen. Yes, I remember the Marathi poet Kusumagraj. National artists like Rabindranath Tagore, Tansen, Raja Ravi Varma and Ghalib were well-known creative artists. Pratibhatai. Absolutely right. We see the expressions of creativity in all the fields. Homemakers who cook a variety of dishes in their kitchens are creative too. Kalpana. That's true. With a mixture of pulses and grains, my mom makes dosas, appam, dhedi, thalipit, dhoklas, vada, as well as amti, soups and sambar. They are highly nutritious too. Navi, you lucky girl, Pratibhatai. Why only mom? All of you are creative. Srujan, us and creative. How come? Navi. How do we spot our own creativity? Prerana. Can it be measured? Pratibhatai. Cool it children. This is a real bombardment of questions. I will answer all of them one by one. According to psychology, everyone is certainly born with the talent of creativity. The only thing is that the proportion varies from person to person. Psychologists have developed tests to identify and measure the creativity in people. Let's not go into those details right now. We can get introduced to creativity through a small activity. 
we can also measure it to some extent. All four. Tell us the activity. We will do it right away. Pradibhatai. Oh my God, how curious you are. But instructions first. Now, listen carefully. You will start only after I tell you to. Take a plain paper. You have to draw some figures on it. Each figure must include a quadrilateral. It may be any type of quadrilateral. A square, a rectangle, a rhombus or an irregular shaped quadrilateral. For example, figures like a brick, a book, a sugar cube, a TV set which necessarily have four sides are to be drawn. You may draw rectangular things which come in other shapes as well. Take dinner plates for instance. They may be rectangular or round. Drawing a rectangular dinner plate is allowed. That means you may draw man-made quadrilateral shaped objects which may sometimes occur in a different shape. Naveen, sounds like a kid's job. How can we identify creativity through this? Pratibhathai, have patience dear. Let me complete the instructions. The objects you draw may be natural or man-made. Drawing quadrilaterals and filling them with designs is not expected. You need to be quick. We should be able to identify what object you have drawn. That's all. Label your figures. Now, don't just draw quadrilateral and label it as you wish. Your figure should be self-explanatory. If you wish to draw a book, drawing a rectangle and labeling it as book will not do. It should actually look like a book. You should add details like the thickness of the book, its title, some printed text, etc. Mind well. A rough sketch is good enough. After all, this is not an art exam. The time limit is 10 minutes. Draw as many figures as you can. Your time starts now. All of them make the drawings. Students may do this activity at home or in class. Pratibhatai. Keep the track of time. 5 minutes over. 5 minutes to go. Time up children. Just complete the figure which you have started already and then stop. Kalpana. I still don't understand what this has to do with the spotting and measuring our creativity. Pratibhatai. That is precisely what I am coming to. We can measure many different creative abilities with these drawings. The concept of creativity is very vast and comprehensive. Ability to create something is just a part of it. Again, it's actually not a single ability but a bunch of abilities. Prerna. Really? I thought it was just a single ability. Pratibhatai. Let's understand the three abilities. Out of many creative abilities, three abilities are fundamental and very important. They can be measured with the help of pictures drawn. Each picture that you have drawn expresses an idea, represents a thought. The number of pictures is equal to the number of ideas. So, all of you count the pictures and note down the number. Kalpana I drew 25. Prerna I drew 18. Srujan Mine are 27. Naveen I managed only 10. Pratibhatai. Very good. The number of pictures indicates your fluency. Fluency is defined as the ability to produce a large number of ideas. If you have drawn 25 pictures in 10 minutes, your fluency score is 25. If you have drawn 6, your fluency score is 6. Drawing 10 to 20 figures in 10 minutes is considered to be average fluency. A score less than 10 could be thought as below average and more than 20 could be called above average fluency. Now, classify your figures into different groups. A group should contain figures with some common characteristics. Kalpana, could you tell us names of some groups? Kalpana. Tai, what is meant by group? Pratibhatai. Tell me some of the pictures which you have drawn. Kalpana. Doors, 
wall, window, carom board, tiles, playing cards and table tennis table. Pratibhatai. Door, wall, window and tiles will form a group. Construction material. Kalpana, can you make another group? Kalpana. Yes, carom board, playing cards and table tennis table come under sports equipment. Pratibhatai. Very good. Now, Prerana, Navin, Srujan, tell us the groups from your lists. Prerana. I have classified slate, notebook, compass box, drawing paper, graph paper and the likes under stationery. Srujan. Group of audio-visual devices. It has a TV set, a tape recorder, a VCR, a remote, a mobile. Mattresses, pillow, bed sheet come under bed linen. Naveen. I have made a group of table, teapot, chair, sofa and bed with the name furniture. I am unable to classify some of my pictures. One rupee note, painting and purse. Each is one of its kind. Pratibhatai. Okay. In that case, the group will consist of a single object and will get the name of the object itself. Naveen, the groups you have thought of are quite uncommon. All of you have classified your figures correctly. Now count the number of groups. The total number of groups indicate the ability named flexibility. Flexibility is defined as the ability to produce a variety of kinds of ideas. If every figure which you have drawn belongs to a different group, your fluency score and flexibility score are equal. In most of the cases, they are not. This is because normally when we draw a figure, we think of at least three or four objects from the same group. This happens because we think by association with these objects. For instance, drawing a table leads us to drawing of a chair, a teapot or sofa. After that, an object from a different group strikes us. Again, if we draw a book, notebook, compass, school bag will follow. Srijan This is exactly what happened with my pictures. Kalpana Same with me. Prerna, me too. Naveen, I could think of different types of objects, but each group contained just a single picture. Pratibhatai, now you will understand the importance of fluency. Getting innovative ideas is a very important aspect of creativity. High fluency score does not indicate high creative ability. If you do not get new ideas, Drawing 10 pictures of the same kind is really not much different from drawing 5. Srijan Just now you said that fluency is an ability of creativity. Is it not a significant one? My fluency score is the highest. Pratibhatai Of course, it is significant, Srijan. You will understand how important fluency is later when we learn a few more techniques. Research shows that people with high fluency score come with a lot of new ideas. When figures are drawn offhand without any knowledge of the creative abilities, fluency score is much higher than flexibility score. Now that you are aware of both these abilities, you will consciously draw figures of objects across different groups. 10 figures from 8 groups count much more than 25 figures from just 4 groups. Flexibility is more challenging and it is rated higher than fluency. Naveen I have drawn 10 pictures but they belong to 5 different groups. Pratibhatai Fantastic! Now let's go for the third ability. We are going to measure it too. It is slightly difficult but very important. Have a look at your pictures again. See which of the objects look common and quite familiar to you and which are uncommon or rarely thought of. 
For instance, door, TV set, book and notebook are commonly seen objects. Whereas objects like the pyramid of Egypt, a diamond from the playing cards or our national flag are quite different and rarely thought of. Kalpana I have drawn Shankar Pai, my favorite cookie. It is a rhombus. Surujan I have drawn the picture of a horoscope or a birth chart. Prerna I drew a graph paper. Naveen I think my one rupee note idea is quite a novel idea. Pratibhatai Okay children, that's really interesting. You all think your ideas are new or original. But are they really so? How to decide that? The actual procedure to decide this is quite complicated. The number of such innovative drawings indicates your originality score. Originality is the ability to produce novel, uncommon ideas. In one of the methods of measuring originality, the response is to the activity of drawings such as pictures of hundreds of students are recorded. The response given by more than 5% of the participants gets a score of 0. For instance, if 85 out of 100 participants have drawn a book, it gets a 0, since it's a very common response. The response given by less than 5% of the participants is considered to be original. If 2 out of 100 participants have drawn a flag, it gets a score of 1. A response which is not repeated gets a score of 2. As of now, we will not be able to follow this method. Kalpana Okay, so the ideas which we thought to be new may not be new at all. Naveen After knowing about this method, I feel the graph paper and Shankar Pai are not novel ideas after all. Pratibhatai No worries. To decide whether an idea is new or not is very much relative. For now, let's consider only four of you. If a figure is repeated amongst you, it will get a zero. If it is not repeated, it will get one mark. Come on now, give us one example each. Srujan I have drawn the picture of a birth chart. Has anyone drawn the same? Three of them. No. Pratibhatai There you are. One mark to you. Naveen. I have drawn a kazu katli. Kalpana. Hey, I too have drawn a kazu katli. Prerna. Ha ha, that means Naveen's kazu katli gets a duck. Srujan. Hero gets a zero. Pratibhatai. It's okay to lose sometimes, Naveen. Chill. This was just a glimpse. All of us have to learn the techniques and enhance our originality. Now, all four of you... Tell us your fluency, flexibility and originality scores. For originality, count the pictures that you think are novel. Kalpana Tai, I drew 25 pictures. 8 groups were formed and I think 2 pictures were really different. Flag and harmonium. So my fluency score is 25, flexibility score is 8 and originality score is 2. Pratibhatai so, your creativity score is 25, 8, 2. That's nice. What about others? Srijan. I drew 27 pictures in all. The groups are 7 and I find 3 of them innovative. Birth chart, playing cards and sanctum of a temple. So, my scores are fluency 27, flexibility 7, and originality 3. In short, 27,7,3. Prerna. My score is 18,4,1. Naveen. Mine is 10,5,2. Pratibhatai. Sounds great. Now you all know that flexibility is more significant than fluency and originality is the most significant amongst them. At times, a single original idea is capable of bringing about 360 degrees change. 
Today we got some idea of the concept of creativity and learn to measure the three abilities fluency, flexibility and originality. I will give you some tasks for practice. Solve them at home so that the concepts will be clearer to you. We are going to use them frequently while learning the techniques of creativity development. Naveen Wow, great! Tai, this was so interesting. We got to know something new about creative abilities. All of them. What are we going to do tomorrow? Pratibha Tai Tomorrow, each of you are to bring a candle and a matchbox. We'll let you know then. End of chapter 1 Let us look at the exercises. Use a separate notebook and solve all the given exercises in it. Exercise 1 Draw pictures of objects which necessarily contain a triangle. The objects may be man-made or naturally occurring. The time limit is 10 minutes. Then evaluate your own work and find out your fluency, flexibility and originality score. Exercise 2 Take the letter K. Draw as many novel objects as you can by drawing additional lines to this letter K. Exercise 3 Repeat exercise 2 for the letters H, J, W and Y. Thank you. This was first chapter from the book Let's Unfold the Wings of Creativity. This book is a translation of the original Marathi book Pankha Fulvuya Pratibhetse.